Hello, boys and girls. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite books. The Hello Goodbye Window is written by Norton Juster and Chris Rashka. And as we know, Chris Rashka is known for his beautiful artwork. If you've ever looked out a window and wanted to know what was over there, or missed your mom and dad and wanted to see them, if you're at school and you're thinking about the weather outside, this is the book for you. After reading the book, there's a very fun activity that you can do. You're going to need parchment paper, black paper, that can be cut into a window shape or four strips of paper, glue, tap water to thin it out, a tray to put your mixture in, some foam brushes, and an assortment of small cut tissue paper in all colors. Line your work surface with your parchment paper. have a second piece of parchment paper available for blotting. Now, take your four pieces of black paper strips and place them in a rectangular shape or window shape. These two are approximately eight inches by one inch, and these are four inches by one inch. In the tray to the right, I have a mixture of glue, that's Elmer's school glue, though any glue will do, and plain tap water. Using my foam brush, I'm going to tap small dots of glue under the small strips just to adhere them to the larger strips. This can also be done with straight glue or a glue stick. Make sure that your rectangle is still in its rectangular shape with right angles for the corners. Using your sponge brush, dab on the glue in various spots on the inside of your frame touching the frame and the parchment paper. Make sure to vary the colors so that it's extremely colorful and pleasing to the eye. You can use some of the same color like I did with my orange tissue paper, but change it up and make it interesting.
with a pair of scissors, cut the excess parchment paper around the window. You want to leave the back of the window there to make sure that your window is a solid piece. And if you look at the back, it's a pretty interesting piece to look at as well. The Swiss French pioneer of modern architecture, Le Corbusier, said, the history of architecture is also the history of windows. Stained glass windows were first used by well-to-do Romans in their homes in the first century AD. Well, I hope you liked this activity and I hope you try it sometime. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.